Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you our homeschool basket and what I like to keep in it. This is a big collab that I'm doing with a bunch of other YouTube mamas, so I will list all of the different channels down below. Make sure you check that out so you can see everyone's video. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what I like to keep in our homeschool basket. The first item is this puzzle. I put this puzzle together for my three-year-old. It spells out her name so she is able to practice her name. So basically, she can just put the puzzle together and practice spelling her name. Like so. So we'll just go through the letters and I'll have her point and say the letters and then have her do the puzzle. So that's just a fun way for her to practice her name. The next item is an ABC puzzle. So these are the puzzle pieces. I just have them in this bag and the actual puzzle is right here. So just another little ABC game that she can play. She already knows all of her ABCs, but I like to reinforce and just make sure that she doesn't forget anything. So I like to go over the ABCs with her and play a little game with it. And here is another ABC game that we like to play. We haven't played this one much, so I like to switch out what I keep in my basket. So I have switched out and put this ABC puzzle in there because this is something we haven't really used. So I figured that she would like playing with this. The next item I have in here is our All About Today board. And as you can tell, this is just something that I try to go over with her daily. She's not quite old enough to worry about time. So we haven't really worked on that yet, but we do the days of the week. We do um, what the weather is like outside, what time of day is it, morning, afternoon, or night, what season are we in, what month. So this board, I really, really like it. I'll leave the information to where you can find this in my description below. We also have this workbook. And this is just an Evan Moore workbook. And as you can see, this is a kindergarten workbook. My daughter, she is only three and we do preschool. But she pretty much knows all of the stuff that a preschooler should know. So I have already advanced her up to the kindergarten book just to keep her challenged. I like to have her do just a couple of pages a day. So just two or three pages a day. Nothing crazy. I try to make it fun for her. So we have that. The last couple of items that I have in here are writing related. So this is just her little book that has all of her lined paper and she's able to practice on her different letters and stuff like that. So I keep that in here so we have that handy. And this little kit actually came out of this Teach My Preschooler box which I probably will show you in just a second. But this is the handwriting kit from that. And basically when you open it up you have this little erase or dry erase board. It's not really a dry erase. It is, let me see if I can grab the pen. Basically you can write on the board and then you just hit it and it erases the word or the picture or whatever you drew on it. So how this helps is there are these little cards. Let me grab one out for you. There are these little clear cards that come with it and you stick them inside the little drawing board like so and then now they can trace over it. And it also has these lines so it says to start here, go down, and go over. And then when they lift it up, they have their letter. 
So we have really been enjoying this. She likes to trace things because she's not quite comfortable enough to do it by herself. Although she is getting there. So soon she probably will be able to do it by herself. But this has been a really excellent tool just to help her practice writing her letters. And to just to give you guys a quick peek inside this Teach My Preschooler kit, I ordered this off of Amazon, so that's where you can find it. I will leave the links down in my description below if you'd like to check it out. But inside, there is just a teaching guide for the parents. And then there are more of these kits. So let me pull them all out so I can show you. Okay, so the kit that I've already showed you is the printing kit that had all of the letters and all the little cards and the little book to write on. That's the printing kit that we're working on currently. There is also a math kit. And in this kit, there are all of these little manipulatives. So there are... And they're like foam, so they're very soft. I have already broken mine up into two different categories. As you can see, you know I like to organize. But basically, they were all just inside this little bag. And inside, there is a little workbook. This is just Math Edition. And just has a little book so they can match up the, the numbers. So they can sh She can grab out a 1 and a 0. And she can match it up. But she can also do the problem. So if you see down here, there's a little face, a plus sign, and then there's nothing. Equals, and then there's nothing. So she can figure out the math problem, all of that good stuff. And it also came with this little poster that you can hang. Looks like this is like a fun little game that they can play. How many kids are in the sandbox. Just different activities they can do. And it's double sided so there's more stuff on this side. The next little kit that we have is the Numbers 1 to 100 kit. And in this kit... Let's see, there is a big poster that you can hang. It came with this numbers 1 through 100 workbook. And this is like set up like a train. It's because it comes with these little, these little cards that turn into a train. So you can see, it turns into a train. So you just match them all up and you can turn it into a long train. So... That's also something that we can do, play a little game with it. And on one side it has the number, and on the other side it has the word for that number. So different, plenty of different options that we can use this for. The last little envelope in this kit is the reading envelope. And we haven't really gotten into this yet, but my daughter is pretty much, she's ready to start the reading. So I am probably going to focus on this really soon. But as you can see, they come in different steps. So there's step one, step two, all the way to step ten. For step one is the letter sound. So it's just doing the letter sounds A through I and just has different activities that you can do but it, there's three books for the letter sounds so after she's done with all the letter sounds then they advance to the reading and this is vocabulary reading one and it looks like what they do is there are in the back of the book there are these little flashcards yeah so as you can see, I haven't opened them yet, but let's take one out. So this one I'm guessing is lips. Yep, lip. So just flashcards on easy words that they can learn how to read. So that will be really fun once we get into this to go over that with her. And that is everything that I keep in my basket. Our basket is very simple. I also do have a pencil for her in there. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs>